Hi, Vanessa here. In this month's stitch challenge, I am going to demonstrate how to crochet the daisy stitch. This is a six by six inch square using worsted weight yarn and a USH five millimeter crochet hook. Let's get started then. So you want to start with a foundation chain of 22 stitches or any even number of stitches to measure six inches and then add two more chain stitches. So for row one, we are going to start in the second chain from the hook. Here's the first chain, here's the second. You want to work one single crochet. Insert your hook into the second chain from the hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two loops. That's your first single crochet. Now you're going to work into the next chain stitch. And into every chain stitch across, you will work one single crochet. Now we're ready for row two, and this is going to be the right side of your work. So you want to chain three. One, two, three turn your work. Now we're going to work into the second and third chain from the hook. We're going to insert our hook and pull up a loop. Now you want to insert your hook into the next chain stitch. Yarn over and then pull up a loop. Now into the next three single crochet stitches you're going to pull up a loop in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. You want to make sure you have six loops on your hook. Go ahead and then yarn over and pull through all six loops. Chain one to secure. You've made your first daisy stitch. Now right here into the chain one space you want to insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop into the side here, the spike of the daisy stitch. You want to insert your hook there and pull up a loop. Okay, so right here where you worked your last spike stitch, you're going to insert your hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop. Now into the next stitch, pull up a loop. And then in the last stitch here, pull up a loop. With six loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops. Chain one to secure. That's your second daisy stitch. So we're going to repeat that last daisy stitch all the way to the end. You always start with the chain one space, pull up a loop into the side spike here, going through both of the loops. Okay, pull up a loop into the same stitch as your last spike, the spike you just worked, pull up a loop, and into the next two stitches, one loop each. So you always want to make sure you have six loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through six loops, chain one to secure. Okay, so go ahead and repeat all the way across. I'm at the end of row two. I'm working my last daisy stitch. I've got three loops on my hook. There's the fourth, and now I have two stitches left. One loop from each of the last two stitches. So now I have six loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all six. Chain one to secure. Okay, we're ready for row three. We're going to turn our work 
and we're not going to chain any stitches for row three. We're just going to work right into the chain one space, work one single crochet. And then right here, the next stitch, one single crochet, and then into the next chain one space. Right there, you want to work one single crochet in every stitch across. So into the chain one space, into the next stitch, chain one space, and then keep repeating that all the way across. When you get to the end of your row, it's a little hard to see, but this is your chain three from your daisy stitch. You're going to have to work in there for your last stitch. So right here is your second to last stitch, right there, and then right here in the corner is your chain, uh, third chain from your chain three. So into the spike part, into the third chain, one, two, three, you're going to insert your hook and then work your last single crochet stitch. Okay. Okay, so you're going to repeat rows two and three for five more times, and that'll give you a total of 13 rows. Okay, I've completed my square, so I repeated rows two and three five more times. I have a six by six square you can go ahead and fasten off and then block your square to six by six. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.